I'm always wondering what can I do, what can all of us do without being any higher up? What can the regular person do to save the world? It is precisely the so-called regular person and the regular people that will save the world. Often when we think in terms of someone being higher up, powerful, politically powerful, influential, rich, uh, famous, a celebrity, those people often are the most spiritually asleep. They have fallen hook, line, and sinker for their false personality, their acquired self. They believe they are that acquired self. They are the movie star. They are the powerful politician. They are the CEO. They are the billionaire. They are the uh, warlord. And they are full of self-importance and vanity and they do not know themselves. To use a Gurdjieff expression, they may exist, but they are not. Or as Gurdjieff said, he may exist, but he is not. Which I could elaborate upon. What can we do? There is only one thing to do. And that is to work on becoming conscious, to awaken, to become spiritually awake. And that is done through self-observation and self-awareness. We have a pain body, and I will use Eckhart Tolle's expression because I think it's so evocative. But we have an accumulated baggage of emotional hurt on the one hand and pride on the other hand that defines who we are combined with again our identification with the thinker the reasoning man so what can we do realize that that's not who we are we have a pain body to recognize when we're being pulled into identification with a pain body we have a mind, we have reason, and we have the thinker, the incessant thinker. So the key there is to witness and observe when the thinker starts taking over and running you ragged with thoughts, worries, fears, accomplishment, uh, conquests, and everything else. So the key is, when emotions are triggered, you don't block the emotions, you observe the emotion. When the thinker takes over and starts compulsively running you ragged, recognize it, and you can, in so many words, say to yourself, there's my mind, there, the think there goes the thinker again, and observe your mind and smile at it and realize you are not the mind. As a wise man once said, who is it that knows I'm thinking? There does not exist.